our little video for you folks who want to criticize my man Apple Soldier. Um, until you guys see you guys out there cracking out a bunch of uh, moto tutorials, give the man a little respect. There are few and far between on the internet. Um, it's good to have somebody showing you how to use these, but I'll give you a couple tips. Uh, a couple people ask some questions, I'm going to answer them. Number one, rotate around the screen. In moto, you hold down the Alt key and use your left mouse button. Now, personally, I like to turn off this trackball rotation. Um, just makes things a little bit easier to uh, rotate. The trackball rotation on, things can get a little bit squirrely and out of control, as you can see. But turn that off. Whoop, everything's nice and smooth. All right, now we're going to be talking about uh, some snapping and getting everything centered, uh, like radial rays and so on. So I'm going to do is hold down the control key and the space bar to bring up this menu. Go to my front view. I'm going to press Shift A to center everything. And I'm going to turn on snapping on the grid and grab myself a cylinder tool. Start right in the middle and just boop. Oh, forgot to uh, enable snapping. So let's just do that. And grab my cylinder tool and drag out a cylinder so everything is easy to size up. And I'm going to again control and space bar, hold that down, go to my perspective view, drag that out, press space bar to end the tool, grab two polygons around the edge, holding down shift to grab the second one, mesh edit, loop slice, uh, symmetry, count of two, click in the screen, and just move these to where you want them, usually about five or six percent from the edge is what I do space bar in the tool Oops. and then when you sub D it you get yourself a nice circle create a new mesh and uh, go into my front view again control space bar front I'm gonna go in my basic tab again grab my cylinder tool start right about here drag out a cylinder Control spacebar, perspective, grab the little blue tick mark in the middle, pull it out, and then I'm going to actually double click on it. I want to move it out here, turn snapping off for now, go around the back, select this back polygon, hit the delete key, so that when I sub D it, there's no back. Another thing you might want to do is select the front polygon, hit B to bevel, click on the screen, bevel it in a little bit, shift click, bevel it in a little bit again, shift click, hold down the alt key, press on the convert up here to vertices, and then go into vertex, collapse, and then I'm just going to select that vertex, press shift A to zoom in on a little bit, zoom out a little bit. And then I'm going to go to edges and grab every other edge so that we don't have any triangles. Hold down shift and clicking on every other edge. Then I'm going to hit the backspace key or the large delete key if you're on a Mac. And then got that nice little shape there. I'm going to go ahead and grab my mesh and go back into snapping and click on geometry and then go to constrain to background and I'm going to uh, geometry constraint to be vector and I'm going to put my mode on edge and I'm going to press the W key to move and just drag that back. Oh, forgot to enable snapping. Always forget that. Boop, and I'll snap right to the uh, background mesh. Now another thing you do is go over, over here into your shading, go under properties, and um, <clears throat> under inactive meshes, go same as active, and then everything will be shaded. All right. Press space bar to end the tool. Again, control space to front view, and I'm going to go into wireframe mode. And just to make sure that everything is 
uh, centered. Actually, I don't want that centered. I'm going to just double click on the first mesh and you can go into basic, center selected all, and then go into the second mesh, go into center selected X, make sure that's right in the middle. I'm going to change my action, action center to origin, go into duplicate, grab my radial array and I'm actually gonna make an instance radial array so I don't have too much geometry I'm just gonna click in the screen and turn my numbers down to something that I want say 12 spacebar to end control space perspective view and I'm gonna grab all these meshes instance meshes put those parent those to the second mesh up here so that uh, we have everything, I'm just going to call this, rename this to small circle, and hit OK, and rename that to large circle, OK, go into my render tab, see how that looks, we actually need to move those meshes back out. Go ahead and look at render tab. Probably want to actually take these small circles, parent them to the large circle, and just grab that. Hit E for rotate. Just rotate that around so I could see the light. Oop, a little too far. Make sure my light is on 